In this episode, we leave Santiago, then sail along the south coast of Cuba to Cabo Cruz, then continue on into the archipelago known as the Garden of the Queen. Last time on Sailing Balachandra, we arrived in Cuba where we had our PCR test and did our customs clearance. We got our mainsail traveler repaired and we visited the town of Santiago. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Noelle. And I'm Dan. And we're Sailing Balachandra. We sailed all the way from Halifax, Nova Scotia to the Caribbean. That's right, we're sailing around the Caribbean now and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, just go below this video, look for the big red subscribe button and press that button. All right, we left Santiago de Cuba late in the day and we are going to sail overnight to the next anchorage, Cabo Cruz, or one of the anchorages just before Cabo Cruz. We're going to start cruising the south coast of Cuba, port by port, to see what we can see and do what we can do and start you know, enjoying the cruising life of South Cuba. When you leave a port, like we just left Santiago, you need to get some paperwork done before you go with the officials. It's like a despaccio in Dominican Republic, very similar. Basically documents from one customs guy to the next. So we have to get that one hour before you depart. Light wind tonight, so that's good. It's the boat won't be healed over too far and uh, Noelle and I might get some sleep. We got the mainsail traveler repaired and it's looking real good. We got the main up right now actually on the new connection and it's holding really well but it's beefed up really serious so we're not worried about it. And uh, we're flying the big 135 jib on an upwind sail. And uh, you know really really light wind but we're still doing like four knots with you know hardly any wind. Okay, we sailed all night and then all day, just about, and we're about to anchor in Punta Raza, which is our first anchorage outside of a port of entry here in Cuba. Pretty happy with the repair we did to the Traveler. We flew the mainsail all day today and it was really strong, so we're feeling pretty confident in that repair. You looking, Dad? Oh. So we were here in Punta Raza for the night. We were not planning to leave this early in the morning, but the harbor master came over this morning and told us we had to leave at 7 a.m. So I'm not really sure what that's about because we were told that we could stop kind of indefinitely along the south coast. So maybe that's just this, this place. There's not much to see and do here anyway. So I said, sure, when we started up the boat, we're gonna get going. at our anchorage. Hopefully we beat the sun and get the hook down because we don't know what we're anchoring in and it's actually quite shallow. Okay we're just approaching the canal de Cuatro 
which is the canal between the South Caribbean Sea and the inner archipelagos of southern Cuba. So soon we'll go through this canal and then we'll be in mixed with a bunch of small little deserted islands. And it should be small deserted islands for the next little while as we uh, transit through this area. So we're looking forward to it, it's gonna be kind of cool. All right, so we had a nice little stop at Cayo Blanco, and as soon as we dropped the hook, a local fishing boat came over and uh, said their hellos, but they were speaking fluent Spanish and no English, so we did our best to communicate, but we ended up trading some shoes and soap and stuff for a great big fish. So now we're, we have a freezer full of fish to eat, so that's pretty sweet. I went ashore with Zeus, and we had a little walk and checked it out, and there's like this old wreck of a metal ship still there and kind of a dock and this beautiful beach and it was really nice. So we've left there now and we have gone through the channel. In a couple days we're supposed to have some very heavy winds coming out of the northeast so we might leave tomorrow and head farther inland and find some better protection so we'll see. So in Cuba when you are at the marina and you're about to travel you tell them where you want to go and where you're going to be and uh, we told them Cienfuego which is the next major city uh, heading a, a, along the coast but Cienfuego is very far away from from Santiago and on the way there's lots of little islands to stop and we were told that we can stop wherever we want to take a rest and uh, give, you know, give ourselves a break on the way so, which could extend our trip up to two weeks. The first two anchorages we had stopped at we were right away called on the VHF radio. Sailing barco, sailing barco. But after that it was all Spanish and if you don't have Wi-Fi or some kind of way to do Google Translate on your phone, you're pretty much like just sitting there guessing. So that time when we were beating the sunset to try to get into uh, the anchorage of Cabo Cruz, hoping that we could drop the anchor in daylight. We ended up not dropping it in daylight. It was quite a bit after. We were really slow coming into the anchorage. We dropped our anchor and right away on the VHF a gentleman came on speaking Spanish. We found it very hard to understand. Eventually he got on his phone and started doing Google Translate as to what he's trying to communicate. Continue the march. Continue the march. March on. You must march on. Yes. March. March. If you stop anywhere along the coast where there's any population at all, there are port authorities that are going to try to contact you and they have some track record of where you've been or where you're going and if you're not on their list, they, they'll look at your boat and they're not expecting a boat today and they assume you shouldn't be there. So right away they're saying like march on, you know, continue on, you're not supposed to be here. Uh, and that's what they understand. But we are allowed to stop and rest, and if you say those words uh, specifically, like we're only here to rest and we have no intention of going ashore, they really don't want you to go to land. That's a big deal. You say, I don't want to go to land, we're just going to rest. They'll give you up to 24 hours to stay in one spot, even if it's on the coast, the direct coast of Cuba. Um, but if you grab an anchorage that's on one of the little out islands, especially down here closer to the Garden of the Queen, there are no people living on these islands, there's no authorities, and they won't call you, there's no way to contact you. And you can basically spend as much time as you want cruising along through these islands. So learn those words in Spanish, we're just stopping to rest, we will be gone at 7 a.m. Yeah, I forget what they are. <laughs> We did it. You might get it was, lucky. It was cute listening to Dan before he could figure out the microphone, uh, how to speak Spanish, how to say the words in Spanish. He's sitting there over the VHF radio. 
trying to speak, read Spanish. If, if you're using Google Translate, you, there's a button there to actually, the phone will talk for you in the, in the language. So even if you're in Spanish, an animated sucks. voice. Yeah. So if, if we have a little speaker, we were putting the speaker like right in front of the VHF transceiver and <laughs> playing the, the Spanish words and it worked. It was okay. So, and then, and then I think we did that and the, the reply was, okay, good night <laughs> in English. <laughs> surprisingly but if you're lucky and if you do have to, like we had this cold front move through and we've been anchoring along the coast because of you know it's too violent out towards the Garden of the Queen so we were anchoring very close to shore and, and uh, the last time we did it a fella came across the radio and he actually spoke really good English and it was simple and we, we were all worried and had our Spanish stuff all written out in front of us and we didn't yeah we were it. super prepared <laughs> and the one time we we're prepared he's just like good day it's like yeah. what <laughs> Brush up on your Spanish before coming to Cuba. Not even brush up, just know like some of the basic words. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this week's video, please don't forget to leave us a like or a comment below. That's right, or hit subscribe. It's a big red button just below the video. And if you haven't checked out our Patreon page, it's always a good time to do so. Patreon's a place where you can give back if you like what we do and you want to support us. Thanks, see you later.